guys, Silver Skull Gamer back again. We're moving on to the gun, uh, gun arm of the Leviathan Crusader. It's a massive rotary cannon, which is awesome. Everybody loves giant Gatling guns. So, there's uh, quite a few pieces to this. It's not, uh, not the simplest thing to assemble. As you can see, I'm trying to make sure I get all the right pieces off the sprue here. And uh, trying to, once again, trying to cut them off the sprue in a way that leaves minimal cleanup. I will say the one thing about the, uh, at the final product, the seam the main seam where the two halves come together. Oh, excuse me. Um, it's pretty significant, actually. So, might have to fill that in if you're really obsessed about uh, seam lines and gaps. And you can see parts of the other, uh, the sword arm, but that's where the, uh, the barrel, uh, the uh, arm joints are all on one sprue. Just doing a little cleanup. Alright, so as always, dry fit, dry fit, dry fit. So testing these pieces, how they go together. Carefully gluing, as always, make sure you don't put glue somewhere that uh, a free moving piece is going to be. So just glue on the inside edge, try to keep away from the center because that's where the uh, shoulder socket is. It's going to uh, slot in there and spin around. So we're cutting out the uh, barrel pieces. This, uh, if I'd really taken the time and had the uh, things to do it, I think this, uh, the way he's made this model, like the, uh, the head and the uh, main torso are readily made for installing LED lights because there's a lot of space. I mean, the, the head itself is a huge cavernous uh, piece of plastic itself you could probably fit an entire light assembly small LED light assembly in the head by itself and uh, this gun the way it's made I'm pretty sure and we'll probably see it here in the next few months uh, I think it could easily be uh, motorized to rotate the barrels and have an LED installed or multiple LEDs installed uh, the way it's made. Um, I think eventually I'd like to get another one or maybe a mortise pattern Leviathan and I think I'd try my hand at some LED lights and maybe motorizing one of the cannons. It's a big gun. <laughs> it's got some weight to it too. That's a solid piece of plastic. 
there I'm, I see where some glue has uh, squeezed out I'm trying to clean it up with a toothpick I don't want the glue to dry and modify the uh, the mold the the barrels you know so it looks like all of a sudden the metals running together So trying to clean up that super glue. Right, so you see there's a, a little axle piece goes in the end of the barrel so that it can spin around. And uh, so I test that out and then I screw in the elbow I guess that's the elbow joint with the forearm well, I guess that'd be that doesn't really have a forearm does it and then dry fitting the two halves together with the barrel make sure it spins making sure that uh, I got everything the way it's supposed to be Oh man, sorry, I keep yawning. It's early in the morning. I can't sleep, but I'm not fully awake. So you can see how thick the uh, the bottom half of that of the gun is. That you know leads up to that uh, flash hider piece. That could easily you could easily run some wires up there to a big uh, uh, flashing LED stuck in the end of that, and then if you look at all that space behind the gun, you could definitely get a small motor back there and totally trick the thing out with electronics, which would be awesome. The only thing to top that off would be to have somehow have a speaker or something to play the play some uh, actual gun sounds. some piece oh yeah there's a piece that goes on top of the two halves that kind of locks them together and it uh, secures that top rail of the gun that is free floating for some reason So I'm trying to figure that out, make sure I get it right. It's kind of tricky putting all this together at the same time. Because you got the you got to get the bar the barrels in there without getting them glued. You know, have to keep them in there and then put the two halves together with a third piece that kind of locks them. Oh, it's that's tricky. I fought with it for a while. So I get everything right. And it's just a lot of plastic to hold together. You need really you need a couple small clamps to put around it. Cause like I told you, you can if you don't get it tight, you're gonna have a pretty big seam all around the gun. Where the two halves join. It kind of sucks. Let me see here. I'm adding glue with a toothpick because obviously I missed an area. Hold 
up tight for a while because I do not want to stay together. Checking the barrels. Yeah, we're done. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned uh, for the next part where we finish the gun up.